One of the things that I did this week was decide to cut my own fringe with nail scissors. It's totally different lengths. Anyway, keeping myself occupied, clearly. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sophie, and today I'm gonna to be doing this look for you all. This is a super glowy, peachy, spring-inspired look that I've created today. I'm not gonna lie, it turned out a little bit more glam than I intended it to, so apologies on that front. I know I've been bringing you a lot of full glam looks. If you do wanna see more natural looks, please let me know. But yeah, this was supposed to be more of a soft glam. I know this will be soft glam for some of you, but for some of you, this is like, next level super super glam. I know personally this is something I would wear on a night out or maybe if I was on holiday and I just wanted to feel a little bit more done up, this is probably when I would wear this. I know it's probably a little bit weird that I'm bringing you makeup tutorials during this weird time because nobody's going out, nobody's doing their makeup. But I just hope that will inspire you to get creative with your own makeup when we do eventually get back to normal life. I just wanted to say Happy Easter to all of you as well. This is probably going to be an Easter that we're never ever going to forget. For the wrong reasons of course. But let's just try and make the most of it. Let's FaceTime all of our friends and family and when we're out of this we can all celebrate big style and I cannot wait for that day. Any questions on the look that I've created, please pop them in the comment section below and I'm gonna write all the products in the description box below if you want to know what I've used. So I've already applied my skincare, which is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer and I've also added a little bit of this Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. Such a tongue tie. <laughs> Such a tongue twister. I mixed these two together and I popped a little bit of that on. If you've seen my previous video where I did my everyday makeup routine, I talk a lot more about these products. So if you haven't already seen it, I'll link it below and you can check that out. This one just gives me a little bit more of a tint. I didn't want to come on camera feeling like a big dull dud. So yeah, this just gives me a little bit more of a tan. So it makes me feel a little bit better. Before we start, I thought we'd just address the elephant in the room that is my new friend. I um, have been doing everything I can to try and get this not to come up because it's genuinely one of those spots that's right under my skin. It's actually pulsating. It's horrible. So yeah, that's not cool. But we're going to cover it, so it'll be fine. So I've already done a little bit of pencil in my eyebrows, just quickly with the NYX brow pencil that I like to use. And I've put a little bit of Shape Tape Concealer on my eyelids so that we can just get cracking with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to chat as we go today guys, which means we could be here a while. So you might have noticed from my previous looks that I've been doing, I do like to use bronzer on the eye a lot and I often start with bronzer. I just feel like it's a nice starting point for me, it's a safe place for me to go first of all. So yeah, I really do recommend using bronzer to start with. So I'm just going to be using the Maybelline City Bronzer which I use all the time and a MAC 224 brush. I'm just taking out the temple. So it always looks crazy at first but I love the way it ties in with the makeup at the end. And then just taking that into the crease. So week three in isolation, how are we feeling? I have had such a strange week, like I've been so up and down with my mood. Some days I've been feeling super productive and then some days I've been literally feeling so rubbish, just quite flat. So I'm trying just to like go with the motions and just however I feel, but it's really, it's really difficult and God knows how you're gonna feel when you wake up. I think normally because we would have work and distractions to kind of keep us going, it's usually a lot easier to deal with your emotions, but when you're just sitting in the house and stuff, it's so rough. Okay guys, I'm now gonna be taking this Lime Crime Venus palette. This is a new and exciting for some of you, I realize, but I love this palette. I always come back to it. I just think the colors are so beautiful. There's some really nice peachy colors. What this shade is one of the nicest burnt orange shades I've ever used. So yeah, I love this palette. It's so, so beautiful. Um, at the moment, I'm gonna be taking this shade here, which is called Rebirth, and it's a beautiful peach shade. I'm actually just gonna take that on the same brush, the MAC 224, and I'm gonna just be popping it into the crease. Now, my eyes are slightly hooded, so what I'm gonna be doing is looking more straight into the mirror and applying it just where I can see it when my eye is open. A lot of clients come to me and they say, oh, I've got hooded eyes, I've got rubbish eyes. The truth is there's nothing rubbish about hooded eyes. You just have to apply your makeup slightly differently. Differently? That's a different word. 
I'm just going to look straight into my mirror and yeah, I want this colour to be peeping up above my lid when my eyes are open. So if you kind of map out the shape when your eye is open, and then it means you can kind of either look down or close your eyes and then you've got the product already there so you can follow it. So I was feeling pretty rubbish this morning actually and decided to go and drive, which I haven't been doing. I needed to drop some messages into my mum anyway, so I decided just to go a little drive and I put Celine Dion on in the car and I decided to have what I call a Celine dion -a -thon. So yeah, literally just belted out her songs, had a good sing song to myself. And it actually made me feel so much better. I would definitely recommend that. The weather's been really nice for driving, but even if it's not, getting your favourite music on and just having a sing song is actually so, so good for the soul. So now I'm going to be taking this colour from Illamasqua. This is called Vapour. It's a perfect mixture between an orange and a yellow. And I'm just going to be applying that just above the sort of pink shade that I've just put down. So just with a really light hand and just fluff over the edges. And I'm just going to flick some of that out of the way to meet the bronzer that we put down as well. well next up I'm going to be taking a little mixture of these two colours here. This is my Buff and Blend BB22 and I'm just going to be dipping kind of both into both of them with a really really light hand because I feel like people always try to press really hard and then what ends up happening is that you push the eyeshadow really far into the concealer and you can blend it out if you make a mistake so the lighter the hand the better and then I'm just going to take a little bit of the darker orange shade from the palette and also a bit of vapour back on my 224 and I'm just literally going to be flicking the edges kind of up the way just to make sure that the colour that we just put down blends nicely. At this point I want to add a wee bit of depth into the eye. So I'm just going to take this tiny little brush here, this is a Sigma E36 brush and I'm just going to be using that to kind of smoke the end of the eye. So if you just take this colour here, a dark brown shade, and I'm just going to sort of come from the outer side of the eye and into the middle. Once you've got hardly any product left on your brush, you can kind of just flick that out as well. Next up, I'm going to be applying a bit of Shimmer Shimmer, and these are some of my favourite shimmers. It's the Jordana Tisha Base and Sparkle. They're so easy to use because they've got a cream eyeshadow and a pigment on the bottom, so the pigment sticks to the cream and it's just super easy to use. I'm actually just going to use my finger for this today, so I'm just taking a little bit of the cream there. This is in the shade Speechless. It's a beautiful peachy, pinky sparkle. Let's swatch it. I haven't done any swatches on my channel yet. Can you even call me a makeup artist? This is probably the worst swatch I've ever seen in my life. Can you see that? I hope you can. <laughs> it almost looks kind of rosy goldy. So yeah, taking the cream on my finger. I'm just literally going to be patting this on my eye. And I do like to take a wee bit above my crease because again with the hooded eye situ, when my eyes are open, you can't always see what's on the lid. So if you go slightly above your crease, then you should be able to see the sparkles when your eyes open. So now I'm just patting in that sparkle and yeah, using my fingers really easy. Obviously I have short nails, so it's easy for me. Anyone else like dying to get their nails done in lockdown? <laughs> yeah, if you've got long nails, by all means bash one with a brush because it works just the same. So yeah, you can see when I look straight ahead, you can see the sparkle just above and that's exactly where I want it to be placed. So I'm just going to do the other eye. Okay, now that's on, I'm just going to take the 224 brush again and just whatever's on the brush, I'm just going to kind of pull into the ends of that sparkle just to make sure that it all blends seamlessly. I use this on braids a lot as well, this pigment is so nice. Obviously not with pink eyeshadow, but yeah, um, it's so, so nice on braids. I'm just actually going to take a little bit of shape tape concealer under my eye just to sort of prepare it for eyeshadow. 
So I'm going to do my waterline next with a little bit of gel liner. This one is from Inglot. It is a burnt orange colour again and it's so nice against green eyes. I'm loving my swatches today. <laughs> this is it here, okay? It's like an orangey, reddy, browny shade. I love Inglot liners in the waterline. I think they're really long wearing. I forgot to mention the number, so it's Inglot Gel Liner 63. Told you these were super long wearing, I can't get that bloody swatch off my hand. Hands are so bloody dry as well from washing them all the time. Now I'm going to just smoke that out underneath the eye. I'm going to be using a little bit of this shade here, the burnt orange shade in the palette. And then I'm going to use a bit of the vapor shade from Illamasqua as well. So first the burnt orange shade and this brush is a MAC 230. After I did makeup at college I worked at MAC and I did learn a lot from the girls that work there and I learned to use their products which is why a lot of my brushes are actually MAC. And now I'm just taking some of that vapour colour here. I'm just going to go quite heavy with this because I don't want it to look too dark. I know that this looks quite a lot like quite bright and stuff but I honestly urge you to try something new because when you do sometimes you can be seriously pleasantly surprised like obviously when people come to me to get their makeup done and they say can I get peach look and I do this on them they will love it but they would probably never do it themselves so try it give it a go see how you enjoy it for eyeliner I'm going to be using this benefit one it's the roller liner and it's in the brown shade I wasn't sure if I was going to do black or brown Okay, so I feel like I just want it to be a wee bit darker, so I'm just going to pop some black liner right at the root of the lash. This one's also a pen one from Ciate, so I'm just going to do the same. I feel like because it's so bright, I just needed it to be a little bit darker, so yeah, I'm happy with that black liner now. Just so it doesn't stop right at all, I'm just going to take that little tiny brush again with some of the dark brown shadow and just buff it out of the edge. What I like about these lashes is that they are not too thick and heavy with having a hooded eye. If you wear a really thick heavy lash then it just literally covers all your eyeshadow when you can't see it. So unfortunately there's a lot of styles that I put on my clients that I can't wear and I get like lash envy. I would love more than anything to be able to pull off a Tati TO3 but I just can't. It's funny because I actually have some clients who have such amazing big eyes that when I put a tatty tail three on them, like it actually just gets lost, which is so bizarre because it just drowns me. That's one thing I will say is if you're ever watching someone on YouTube, putting lashes on, you're like, I'm gonna buy them. I would first think, have they got the same eye shape as me? Have they got the same space between here and their brow when their eyes open? Like think about all these things before you go and buy them because you don't want to be disappointed, girl. So I've just glued my lashes while they're tacking up. I'm going to be applying a little bit of this here. This is from NARS. It's the Super Radiant Booster. So this is, I would say, a primer or illuminator. Here's the fun part. Watch me put my lashes on. I might just skip this quick. Okay, so this is the point when my clients are looking at themselves in the mirror going, what the hell is she doing to me? This is when you need to trust the process and wait till the end. Don't judge it now because I look mental. So for my base today, I'm actually going to be using a tinted moisturiser. I've spoke about how obviously we use so much concealer this day and age. Well, I know, I do personally. So I don't always feel like I need to wear a really heavy foundation. This gives a really decent coverage, even though it's a moisturiser. Obviously it's from NARS and this is the shade St. Moritz. San Maritz. I'll write it, I'll write it below. So as always guys, I'm going to pop my concealer down first and then I'm going to put my base on. Although I've had a bit of a battling week with myself, which I'm sure you can all relate to, I have actually done a few pretty productive things, like cleaning out my wardrobes. That, I will tell you now, was an absolute task. I haven't done that in like a year since we moved into our house. I've got so much stuff that I've just kept for obvious sentimental reasons. 
So I tried to be pretty ruthless and chuck out a lot of stuff. And then I reorganized all my clothes and yeah, I felt amazing after it. But halfway through looking at my bed with all these clothes around me, that was not fun. But it got me thinking like, obviously we are so fast fashion now. Like we buy things, we wear them once and then we chuck it in our wardrobe. So obviously right now, like when we're not working and can't afford any new clothes, is the times that we should really should be taking pride in our things. Like, not that I don't take pride in my things, but clothes wise, now that I've got all in my wardrobe, all color coordinated and stuff, I can see what goes with what a lot more easy. So I feel like I appreciate my, my things a lot more from doing it, if that makes sense. I need to tackle this spot. I'm just going to use my favourite concealer for spots. It's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is the shade Honey. So I'm just going to be popping this NARS Tinted Moisturiser everywhere that the concealer isn't and blending it all in. So this brush is a Buff and Blend BB01 and it's actually so quick, which is why I love it the most. I actually think it's a powder brush. So now I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend in all my concealer. So now I'm just going to blend out that nice little line I've got under my eyes and I'm just going to be using this dual fiber brush. And this is a point when you can sort of reshape or take up your low blend as high as you want. Okay, so I'm just going to warm up my skin a bit. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Week concealer in the shade Maple. It's a really warm colour. I'm just going to be taking this contour clean brush from Beauty Bay. So I'm just going to place it on and then I'm going to blend it out in a sec. I actually prefer instead of drawing it on the face and then blending it out, I prefer using just this brush to apply and blend. So next up guys, I'm going to be using a little bit of cream blusher, also a NARS product, I swear. I didn't mean to be using so many other products, but I love them. Also a beautiful peachy color. So I'm just gonna be popping that onto the cheeks. And I do want it to be quite a blush heavy look. So yeah, I've kind of went for it. No going back now. Just keep tapping it in and taking some excess off the brush. Tapping it in again. I'm going to use some KKW Mario. This is called Very Graceful, which I am not. I'm just going to be applying that on top of the cream blush that I've just applied. And I'm just kind of doing little dabbing and flicking motions. And then the second one I'm going to be using is this Bobbi Brown. This is actually a highlighter, but it does give off a little bit of colour. So it's in the shade Sunset Glow. And as you can see, it's got a nice sort of pinky tone. And I'm just going to pop that over top of the so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just bake slightly under my eyes. As I said, I wasn't really planning on this happening, but we're here now, we might as well continue. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I'm just going to be pinching my sponge, adding a little bit on there and patting it under my eyes. I'm also going to be applying it at the sides of my mouth. I'm just going to take the excess powder just anywhere where I want to mattify, mainly here at the moment. I don't want it to look super duper baked, so I'm just going to brush the powder off pretty much straight away. I'm just going to be adding a little bit more warmth to my face with a little bit of bronzer. This one is the City Bronzer by Maybelline. I'm just going to go over everywhere that I've put the cream contour and I'm going to be sweeping it the edges of my shadow. Never forget your ears, it's a total giveaway.
Okay guys, mascara is on. I'm just gonna go and touch up my brows off camera. I'll be right back. And to finish the eyes, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shade here, which is a shimmery cream shade. Just popping that in the inner corner there. To finish the look off, I'm just going to be doing a nice peachy lip. And this liner that I'm going to use is actually so, so cheap, but it's one of those ones that I constantly repurchase. It's from Collection, and it used to be Collection 2000, but they dropped the 2000, and now they're just Collection. So yeah, nude pink liner from Collection going down first. finish I'm going to be using a gloss so this is one of my favorite glosses it's such a nice tone it's called peach please and it's also from Jordana Tisha which is where the eye sparkle pigment is from as well and to finish I'm just going to pop my little freckles on just filling in the ones that I've already got and this is just the brow blade from Urban Decay again. I'm really loving the freckly look just now and we're getting that sort of, we're nearly in summer. We will nearly have freckles, so we might as well draw them on. So I stupidly deleted my outro, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this look today. If any of you get the chance to recreate this look, please tag me, it literally makes my day. Have the most amazing Easter weekend in isolation, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!